welcome students now in this uh, video we are going to talk about the uh, arc glow or this is also known as the uh, magnetic arc glow see uh, first of all i will clear that in ac as the arc is more stable we are not getting this arc glow effect or magnetic arc in case of ac but more predominantly we are getting this arc glow in case of the direct current in the dc welding okay so actually what is mean by this arc glow so it is nothing but the deflection of the arc uh, because of the magnetic field is getting produced uh, because of the uh, welding current which is flowing into this uh, circuit okay so it is nothing but the deflection of the uh, arc because of the magnetic field okay now if you see if you take the any electrical conductor which is always surrounded with the magnetic flux lines if say this is the conductor i am taking electrical conductor so it is always surrounded with the magnetic flux lines so these are the say magnetic flux lines these are the magnetic flux lines okay and of course they are moving with the movement of the uh, conductor and one important thing is that these electromagnetic flux lines are only uh, move through the material but they cannot move into the air okay please clear they can be move into the uh, conductor or material but not into the air so what happened whenever in the arc welding you are doing the welding operation and when you are reaching at the end say this is the base material you started welding from here so this was here was the arc and you come to this end or come to this edge so what happened so definitely magnetic fluxes are moving with the electrode and when this uh, magnetic flux lines are come at this point they are getting out no this is not possible okay so whenever the sorry so whenever the uh, electrode is trying to turn or you're trying to take the turn during the welding or it is come to the end of the operation or come to the edge of the uh, plate so what happened so magnetic flux, flux lines also trying to come out but yes they cannot move into the air so what happened the arc is getting experienced with the the backward pull so this is the backward pull backward pull which is experienced by this arc and producing the blow okay that will produce the blow which is nothing but our arc blow okay so this uh, arc blow is uh, give us some adverse effect because of that there is a, a huge amount of spatter may get produced spatter is what it is nothing but the throwing out the tiny uh, metal droplets from the weld pool onto the non welded portion like a tiny dots we can observe onto the plates where the welding is not done that is called as spatter the another thing is that uh, the fusion lack of fusion uh, will be there if there is a arc blow and third thing is that the welding speed we have to reduce so these are the adverse effect of the arc blow please remember this now what are the things we can do to reduce the severity although definitely we cannot make it zero but what are the things that we can do to reduce the severity of the arc blow or this magnetic arc blow so what we can do so it's kind of remedies we are having so what the things we can do to reduce the severity of this arc blow so first thing is that either you can go for ac because we know that in ac there is constantly changing of polarity so this magnetic field effect is totally get nullified because of that okay so one thing is that from dc you have to switch to the ac so will be so that there will not be any magnetic field because of constantly changing of the polarity your arc glow is going to reduce or nullified second thing if you decrease the current definitely if you decrease the current then the strength of the magnetic field 
which is produced definitely come down if you if you reduce or minimize the current the second uh, thing that you can do is that you minimize you minimize the current the CV, the strength of that magnetic field will come down okay third thing what we can do so we can use the short arc we can use the short arc if the arc is not lengthy it is short one so definitely there is a minimum chances of deflection so arc will directly uh, goes into this arc crater the depression caused by the arc onto surface it is the arc crater okay so arc will directly go into the arc crater so there is no any chances of uh, arc glow in case of the short arc then the fourth thing we can do is that we can attach some steel blocks at the end of the edges so that whenever you are reaching to the end or edges the you are having attached here the uh, steel blocks so that what happened the magnetic flux line flux, flux lines will get passed through these additional uh, blocks which are uh, near to the edge and you will not get any kind of arc glow and the last thing we can do uh, instead of a single uh, grounded cable or grounded lead you can have more than one ground leads so that so this is if this is the well and this is say here is our electrode this is the arc so what you can do to minimize this arc glow you can have more than one ground leads okay or earthing cables ground leads or earthing cables that is also going to minimize the arc flow okay so students in this in this video we discuss about what is the arc flow where it is predominant what are the effects of this arc flow and how to minimize the severity of the arc flow please note it down thank you